Hi guys, Dr. Mandy here from Dermot Chiropractic, and today we're going to talk about the top three reasons to bring in kids ages about three to six. So these ages can vary if your child, if you notice your child at any age doing any of these three things, you can definitely bring them in. So the number one thing that you can bring your child in for is what we call W sitting. So here's a picture of what I mean by W sitting. When they're sitting on their knees and their feet are a little bit more on the outside of them, now, this just could be completely natural and that might be their position that their body likes to be in, but it can also mean that something's going on with their hips, their knees, their ankles, their low back. There's a lot that can go into it. So like I said, it's not necessarily means that there's a problem, but it's something you wanna get checked out now before they start to develop those patterns and habits and muscle tone in that exact pattern to make sure that there's not something else going on as well. Another reason that you might want to bring them in is something that, you know, you might notice adults are complaining of like headaches, neck pain, back pain, or if you might notice like they're moving their head around a lot, trying to get it comfortable, or nowadays with kids being on like iPads more, if their posture starting to get bad. So these aren't normal for children to have. You want to break this habit now before it becomes more of an issue in the future. So we can work with their neck pain, we can work with their headaches, we can figure out why they're Know, kind of moving their head around a lot trying to get a little bit more comfortable then we can definitely work with their poor posture so this is something that I think is very very important especially as they grow because the more they're in school the more they're studying the more they're reading they're naturally going to kind of start to hunch forward and that's going to develop a lot of bad habits in the future so you want to correct them as early as you can so that we don't have to work harder in the future because it's already ingrained in their mind you want to catch it early and the third thing we can help with is bedwetting. So if you've tried to potty train your child and just nothing's helping, they continue to A, either wet the bed every night or every couple nights and they're not very frequent with how often they're being able to get up and go to the restroom. And you've tried other things like limiting their liquids before bed or waking them up once or twice a night to make them go to the bathroom. If you've tried all these things and it's not helping, then we can help with that. Now, it's not a 100% guarantee, we'll be able to tell within a couple of visits whether it's something we can help with or not because we will notice pretty quickly whether or not it's affecting their bedwetting. For instance, I had two young girls that were siblings, both suffering from bedwetting. One helped, one did not. One after two treatments has not wet the bed at all. The other one will have a couple dry nights here and then as opposed to every single night being wet, but we're still we figured out quickly that it wasn't anything body-wise that was going on that was causing it. Where the other one, it was body-wise because it completely went away after only a couple treatments. So not only are we gonna kind of look at body-wise, but we'll give advice, like if you haven't tried the no liquids after seven or eight o'clock at night, or another big thing is diet. So sometimes if they're allergic to something, then it comes out as like a bedwetting instead of like a rash or difficulty breathing. There's a lot of things that allergies can show up as. So commonly I tell them try a gluten-free diet, try a dairy-free diet. And there's a lot of good options as far as gluten-free food because I know children like tend to like sweets. So, but places like Aldi's, they have a large gluten-free section that you can get good food at. So try changing their diet, try waking them up throughout the night. If none of those are working, definitely give us a call as well because it could be something going on body-wise that we can help with. So these are kind of the top three reasons that I would bring your child in if they're roughly in the ages three to six. Like I said, if you notice it before they're three years old or after they're six, it doesn't really matter. We still want to address these problems, but this is just something in this age range that I've noticed a lot of people are suffering from. But if you have any questions, give our office a call. Thank you.